Peggy 18. In case you missed the news, we're headed to E3 to show you guys a bit more of the division. And to celebrate, we thought it would be cool if we could morph this Q&A into something a little bit more special. So, this month we have questions all the way from the Netherlands, from the USA, and from Sweden, which to be fair, isn't all that far away. Astute fans of The Division will realize that we usually do this type of Q&A content over on the website in written format, but we were thinking, what if we use the power of the internet to bring your questions all the way here to the developers at Massive so we can answer them face to face? So that's exactly what we did. Anyway, let's get right to the good stuff. At the end of the most recent E3 gameplay trailer, the big elite guy drops some loot on the floor, which is then indicated with a big orange marker. The other enemies did not have any of those markers, so what is going on here? I mean, is loot just that much of a rarity, or are smaller items just not indicated at all? So, uh, we, we have um, several rarities for loot in the division. The orange one that you see was the highest rarity, and it was very flashy and you can notice it. So we make sure that you, when you get a really good item, you don't overlook it. The lower rarity items are also marked, so you should be able to, to find them uh, as well. Just They're just not as flashy as the higher rarity ones. Also, not all kills grant loot, so uh, that's why you couldn't see it after each kill in the demo encounter. Hey Marco, that was a good question over loot. See you later. So apart from customizable weapons and alternate skills, what else are you doing to make the characters feel unique in the world? Thanks, appreciate it. So we have a good system in place where we can actually customize uh, regions of our gear. Um, for instance, like the chess piece, we have up to three different variants which we can actually change, such as an outer layer, a middle layer, and a bottom layer. That way you don't bump into the same guy with the same gear and you're like, oh, okay, I don't feel as unique or as important in the game anymore. And plus, you get to look how you want to look as well. This door closing that we can see in the gameplay trailer where the dude just walks the door, casually swings it in. I just have a question. How many freaking times did you guys have to do that in the motion capture scene? Because that shit looked amazing. So we have like a bunch of animators who are door uh, closing experts. They basically close car doors all day uh, just for this one... Uh, animation but obviously you're going to be able to do this on a lot of different cars in New York. We weren't getting the correct results with the Swedish car doors so it's pretty important that we went and got authentic New York car doors. <laughs> for real? Yeah for real. For real it uses a blend of motion capture, keyframed animation and human IK to uh, allow us to track where the car door is and place the hand onto the car door and shut the car door with blended animation. And that's that, our very first video community Q&A. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below, leave a like, subscribe if you can, and now it's time to open the floor to all of you at home. What do you want to know? Do you want to know how many weapons are going to be in the division? How many tech artists does it take to screw in a virtual light bulb? What do environment artists eat for breakfast? As we did last year, we're going to be live on Twitch from E3, including but not limited to a very special community event where we'll be giving away heaps of awesome prizes, showing some exciting things, and answering all of your burning questions. You'll want to follow Ubisoft and The Division game on Twitch. Please make sure to send your questions in on Twitter using hashtag AskTheDivision. You'll also find us on Facebook, our official forums, The Division subreddit, and as we've shown, you can send your video messages in to The Division game on Skype. Please keep your questions to about 30 seconds or less. Let us know who you are, where you're from, and we'll do our best to include you in our upcoming Q&A at E3. Okay, we'll see you soon.